Facebook, YouTube. <laughs> I'm trying to adjust this picture right here of my message, but God keeps shining on me. You know what I'm saying? Ain't this crazy? But anyway, you know, the thing is I want to talk to you about, you know, the might. The word might. You know, the reality of might. And I want to start on, of course, you know, John three sixteen and 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but the, that the world through him might be saved. And I'm going to talk about the reality of might. And might is the word of possibilities. Maybe I'll become a better person or maybe not. Maybe I should stay the way that I am or maybe I shouldn't. That's the things that, you know, we people wrestle with, you know, each and every day when the opportunity is being presented to us, you know. And the thing is, but in these opportunities, you know, it is going to determine, you know, it's going to determine either you're going to have life or death, you know, you know, good or bad. That we have to consider, you know, concerning our life if we value our life. Now, the thing is, what you need to, you know, get a reality, you know, I'm going to get give you a reality check on the, what, what will determine your might. What's going to feed your might is the influence, you know, between your friends, your family, social media, of course, TV, radio, television, internet, all that kind of stuff. These are the, like the two influences going to mainly determine your might. But I want to give you a crash course on spiritual darkness, you know, and spiritual darkness, you know, is, you know, all about, you know, the spiritual darkness is all about, of course, I tell people Adam and Eve ate from the fruit of the tree and sin spread it like a disease all through humanity. You know, that's what's our condition. And now the, you know. The world system is, or more likely social media, is all about presenting you in reality on those, you know, social media of desiring money, sex, and drugs, and material things, you know, and that stuff, desiring that, leads to confuse the three C's, confusion, conflict, and chaos, and they are, you know, they're trying to keep you, their, their objective of spiritual darkness is trying to keep you comfortable in that state, you know, is trying to keep you comfortable in the state. Now, this is where, you know, Jesus come in. Now, the scripture says, whosoever believeth in him. See, and the thing is, you know, our belief is going to determine, you know, what we will go after. And the thing is about, you know, Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. Now, of course, you know about, you know, the situation concerning the church. I keep reminding you that, you know, the church is not reflecting Jesus Christ the way he's supposed to be reflected according to their religious and tradition and division system, you know, and the thing is that, you know, you're not, you know, really experiencing the true Jesus Christ that you should should see. And the thing is, you know, I'm and other people are trying to help you see the true Jesus Christ. And when we lift up the true Jesus Christ, you know, then, you know, and, and, and he be lifted up. He wants to draw you unto him. Now, the thing is, you know, it's, you know, God, Jesus Christ just want a shot. You know, you know how we say it, you know, you know, like somebody want a shot out of a title, you know, fighting the champion, you know, 
uh, of whatever sport or whatever thing, you know, people want a shot. Jesus want a shot, you know. Give him a shot. Give him a try. The true Jesus want a shot, you know, to see if he can, you know, you know, shine a light to you that, you know, that you will desire. Because he believed that he has what it takes to draw you away from the comfort of your flesh in spiritual darkness. He truly believes that he has a shot. Now understand, John said, you know, in the, in the 19th verse of this, that in this is the condemnation that the light is come unto the world. And men love darkness rather than the light because of their evil deeds. Jesus know that you don't like I mean, Jesus know that, you know, you love darkness. You know, it's, he's not naive of your desire for darkness. I mean, he, he he's aware of that. But, you know, the ideal is that, you know, he he wants, he want you, he's looking for whosoever that wants to give him a shot, give the light a shot, you know, to, to develop, a, a, a start believing in the light. And to develop a desire towards him concerning wanting the truth, you know, because Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And he desires, and all Jesus is want a shot, you know what I'm saying, of, of, of trying to get your heart from darkness, you know. It's not so much he's trying, like he's not trying to condemn, you know, your condition that, oh, you're bad, you're bad, you're bad, you're bad. No, it's not about that. It's just that he wants a shot. Oh, he believes that his light and his love can draw you away from your comfort place of darkness into his marvelous light. And the thing is, you know, that you might be saved. See, it says might. See, maybe you might, he might get you, or maybe he might not get you. But that's the ideal of might. You know, he's kind of look at Jesus as this fisherman. That, you know, and you're this fish that he's having this fishing for. He believes his bait will be more enticing enough, even though you're eating all kind of, you know, shrimp or whatever you eat underwater as a fish. Even though you're after all kind of stuff, he believes his bait of his everlasting love of his son, his begotten son, Jesus Christ, showed you a love concerning the cross that will draw you, that will might. That will might draw you closer to him, you know, and he just, you know, wanting the shot of the title of winning your heart towards him. And he's sending ministers towards you, examples of Jesus Christ near you to get a shot of your heart. But it's all about, you know, God, God, you know, sent his son to lure you to him. To where he's at in heaven. And that's what the you know whole idea of might. You know. And he's doing you know. Send, he's going to send those. To you know shine forth an example. You know of his love. That you might draw closer to him. Or maybe not. But he's going to you know. Send those people. Keep sending those people. That maybe 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 possibility. That they will want. Me, you know, want God's love. You know, I'm talking to God's love, not me. But I'm an example, you know, I'm like John. I'm a witness of the light, you know. And I'm going to shine bright, bright, bright the light of Jesus Christ to you that you might, not that you will, you know, but you might, you know, be saved, you know. And that's what the fight is all about, you know, concerning the light and darkness. And you know, and I know that you love darkness. I'm aware you love darkness, and I know why, because I love darkness too. But the might, the light of Christ can come inside your heart and just draw you closer to him, and that his love can shine forth about you, about you that you will experience a greater love that you never experienced before, way greater than what's in darkness. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this message, and I hope the light kind of shine bright to your heart that you will understand that God loves you and he really does that his love will be so great that you will lose the desires of the darkness and draw closer to him and that's what he desired okay 
To God be the glory, Him forever and ever. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. The light, the light, the light, the light that you draw to you. The light. Ha, 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 ha.